Oh, hello there. Uh, thought I'd take a little break from Skyrim. I just bought the hun Humble Bundle as well, so I have to play all these games. And I thought I'd record them. So here we are. Some, uh, yeah, indie game Let's Plays. I'm going to start with Night Sky HD, because Night Sky is like my favorite game. Late one afternoon, I randomly stumble upon a beautiful sphere at the beach. It's nothing like I've ever seen. I can't tell whether it's made of crystal, glass, or some other substance. I do notice a subtle glow and presence, as if it has some kind of life force. Without another thought, I pick up the mysterious sphere and decide to take it home. Since that first night, I've had nothing but the strangest dreams about surreal places and experiences. And here we are. This is the game. This game is made by, uh, Niflis. He's an amazing man. I've played just just about all of his games so far, and they're just all amazing. Like Within a Deep Forest and Knit. I'm playing on Alternative here, which is basically like hard mode. I beat this game a couple times, so uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty dece. Oops. Oops. Oh, I, <laughs> I made it, but I restarted the level before. Uh. <laughs> I'm getting messages on Steam. Don't, don't worry about that. Oh yeah, I got the star. Yeah, every some of the levels have stars on on them. They're like little bonus places that are hidden in the level. I actually got that one by accident, but don't tell anyone. Oh yeah, you uh, you fail a lot in this game, and that's okay. Sometimes you just have to accept the fact that you're going to fail. The world would be a lot better off if we could just all accept that we fail from time to time. When you're playing Night Sky, that's okay, because it's so chill. I just listen to the rain and then the smooth jazz by, uh, I can't remember his name right now, I'm very unprofessional, Chris something. I mean, I even wrote a review for this on 8-bit bloggers. The music is so good. Oh, the game's so pretty too. This level's so impossible. Actually, I don't think it's that impossible. I think I just do it wrong. Mm -hmm. 
Like, I think you're actually supposed to knock that, that block of wood back, but I found out that you could just hold A and then roll up these things. So, I don't know. I imagine this is like, if you've ever watched anyone play a video game on the internet before, there's always that time when, like, you see when they're doing something wrong, and then it's just absolutely frustrating because you know how to do it right. It happens a lot if you watch the Yogg's cast. Uh, I love the Yogg's cast, but they're not very, uh, They're not very good at some games, like, like Portal 2 was, the Yogg's Cast Portal 2 run through was pretty bad. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. Because we're playing Night Sky and it's amazing. <laughs> I was never very good at pinball. That's one thing I really like about Niflis games, is there's these small things in the world that kind of don't give themselves any story at all, but you know, you can make stuff up in your head, and then it makes the world seem more alive, without the use of dialogue and convoluted story. Although I do like dialogue and convoluted story. They're they're both great storytelling tools. Uh, but yeah, this is me balancing a sphere on top of a wheel. Uh, it's one of those mechanics that you have to master, and it's very difficult. Especially if you haven't played the game in like a year or so. I should totally buy the Humble Bundle because there's so many amazing games on it. And I think I'm going to do a Let's Play of all of them. Well, I don't know. Me doing a Let's Play of Super Meat Boy would be pretty painful to watch. Because I'm not very good at the game. And Super Meat Boy is kind of a game you have to be good at. Oh yeah, I figure I'll make it through this set of levels anyways. That's probably where I'll... Probably where I'll stop. Niflis is just so amazing. At making controls for his games. Like, these just... These feel so perfect. Oh yes, the anti-gravity level. So relaxing. I love it. I love everything about this game. Ah, oh, my first. Nope. <laughs> first vehicle ride. It's 
so incredibly difficult. And another thing about Niflis I really love, and just indie game developers these days, is just... You know, they're not afraid to make hard games. You know, I, I really like hard games. You know? I, I really, really like this idea for a level. You know, because you can like turn on and off these abilities or whatever throughout the game. But, uh, <laughs> this is awful, by the way. But yeah, having like an effect be constant instead of you turning it on and off, it's a really a really subtle thing to do. And yeah. An amazing thing. It's such a good way to mix up gameplay. Because theoretically a platformer where you're just a ball and you can only press four buttons is like it should be really boring, because, you know, it's like you got chill music and serene background, simple gameplay. It's a recipe for disaster, but it works out so well. All the sound is amazing in this game, too. Alright. And that was Harara Mountains. Uh, yeah. I'll see you next time. Part 2 of Night Sky Review. Or, Let's Play. Also, check out my Night Sky Review. It's on 8-Bit Bloggers. I'll put it in the description. So, yeah. Thanks. <laughs>